What is going on guys welcome back to the C++ tutorial series in today's quick video we're going to talk about enums so let us get right into it. So enum stands for enumeration and it's a very simple thing it's not too complex. The idea is that sometimes you want to have certain values that are simple um, categories for example let's say you want to have colors for example you have shapes and you want to assign colors to those shapes so you want to say this circle is red this circle is blue this circle is green but you don't want to use strings necessarily so you don't want to say something like uh, I don't know, std string my color equals red. Uh, first of all, because you're not limited, you can provide any string you want and it's going to be a valid string. And second of all, a string is too overkill for what we're trying to do here. We just want to have a range of colors that we can choose and then we just want to say this is red, this is blue, this is yellow, for example. Uh, but at the same time, using integers is a little bit confusing because if I say int color equals three, I can remember three equals blue, for example, and five equals purple, for example, and so on. But it's a little bit confusing for the programmer. So what we can do is we can use enums to do exactly that, have numerical values with labels. So we can say, for example, enum color. And inside of here, we can say red, green, blue, purple, orange, and so on. And what happens then is we have this thing, this enum thing that we can just say, okay, this is red, this is green, this is blue. And now I can do comparisons. So let's say I have um, blue here. And if I print blue, I'm not going to get the string blue, I'm going to get the numerical value that is assigned to blue, in this case, two, because it's zero, one, zero, one, two, three, four. So if I say orange, I'm going to get four, like that. And uh, this is great because we can now also go ahead and say, I don't know, uh, color, my color is red. And I can just print my color here, looks like a type, like a class, um, and we get zero because red is zero, obviously. And if I say blue, I'm going to get two again and so on. Um, and this is useful because later on, for example, if we have a class uh, shape, for example, or a class circle, and you want to say this circle has a certain color, we don't have to say this color is a string or this color is an integer, we can say this color is the enum color. It's just a number, as you can see, this is just zero to, uh, to four, but it's still with a label that we can use as programmers. So that was quite a quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting the like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video and 